Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to design and assemble a simple and very widely used tool drill chuck key. It is the main component of drill machine. Many of viewers used it. So today we will see how to sketch and how to assemble in SOLIDWORKS. It's simple example for beginners. Let's see. So here we are going to let's start to make a drill chuck key. So let's start. Uh, choose here front plane. Select sketch. Now the sketch selected. Go to sketch, and I'll choose line and start from origin point. I'll go upward. Okay. Now here I want to create a curve. Then come down connect exit now let's define it first let's make overall length key 44 mm 5.75 mm 3.75 mm and let's define these corners Seven point seven five mm, ten point five mm, and let's make the height. Keep ten mm. Let's say this height six mm, and uh, this one by default. Let's keep twenty seven mm, so that our geometry is fully defined. Now you can see it here. The geometry is fully defined. Okay, and select here revolve boss. This vertical line I'll keep as an axis, 360 degree. Okay. Uh, I'll choose the material. Satin finished stainless steel. Okay, this looks nice. Now we want to create a hole in this is the pilot and this is the here we will create the gear so let make hole front plane sketch let's draw a center line make sure it's vertical see here the choose circle at the end I'll create a circle okay now let's define keep the diameter 6.5 mm and let's say the distance from bottom 9 mm okay now here select extruded cut in end condition choose through all both so that we will create a hole throughout okay now see Now select this face, sketch normal. Now here we will create the gear for key. So go to sketch and select circle. And here draw one circle and the another circle equivalent to outer circle. Or you can directly select this outer circle and click convert entities. Sketch. Ten point five mm. Choose here center line and connect with this line and uh, line exit. Now let's define the angle. Keep ten degree. Okay. Mirror entity and we want to mirror this line. So mirror against center line see here okay now just check outer diameter 12 okay choose here trim entities and trim outside lines okay now see this is the our geometry select here extruded cut and select the portions 1 2 3 4 
not all just check okay now these four corners we want to cut it so make the length 8.5 mm not through all okay now you can see choose fillet zero point five mm and select this edge and bottom edge okay now again I'll choose fillet point two five and this time I'll select this okay now it's time to make multiple number of gear pattern so choose here circular pattern select this face as a circular we need 11 number of patterns and here you can select cut this cutout also we need to select and one fillet also okay now see the key gear is created this is the chuck key drill chuck key gear select this inside face so the both end will be selected keep radius 0.25 mm okay so this is the our pilot chuck key pilot with gear so let's save it go to desktop and create one folder drill chuck key and here give the first part pilot see uh, for this real view actually you need professional graphics card or otherwise your SOLIDWORKS should be registered with the SOLIDWORKS corporation so that it will looks real view let's here let's do the next part of drill chuck key handle so let's start select right plane sketch and here select circle and draw a one seven mm di diameter a circle keep the diameter seven mm okay and extrude it extrude up to sixty seven point five mm long see okay we will define the full material satin finish stainless steel now again choose the right plane a sketch and here select center rectangle select both the vertical and horizontal lines make equal okay now let's define keep the diagon diagonal 6.5 mm okay now exit now it's time to okay cut extruded cut go to selection select or here no need to select you can select here flip side to cut okay and select here offset 55 mm now see we already selected here and here
end condition 11.5 and mid plane now you can see it here okay that's better okay now see we cut it here now choose top plane sketch first draw a center line exit make sure it is horizontal now here choose ellipse now and select any one center point that's it exit now let's define it keep the overall length 20 mm and width 12.5 mm and let's define the distance from end point 83.5 mm okay and it's time to extrude keep end condition mid plane and thickness we will prefer 2.5 mm okay now choose fillet keep 2 mm and select this edge the same we need to select back side or you can mirror it also you have many options again fillet 0.5 mm let's select okay that's it now choose front plane sketch and here we will create some grip so select here center corner rectangle draw two rectangles exit now let's define it 0.5 and keep the distance from outer edge point 5 and let's make the mid distance 2.5 mm okay now let it drag down that's it let's draw a center line select these three lines and make relation symmetric so that this is the mid distance select this line and this line make relation collinear and here also the same collinear okay now the geometry is fully defined so select here extruded cut keep end condition mid plane and that's enough okay linear pattern uh, sketch uh, we will add some radius 0.05 mm so just to avoid the sharp edge okay now it's time to make multiple number of patterns this is the grip choose here linear pattern select this axis we want 18 number of patterns and keep the distance point 0.75 mm see here okay edit something went wrong 
here select fillet as well as the previous cutout is feature two patterns okay now you can see here this is the grip we created to the handle to rotate the chuck key around fillet keep 1.5 mm i think it's quite bigger 0.5 mm select both the end okay that's it so this is the our handle drill chuck key handle is created let's save it handle okay now let's we will assemble this chuck key it is widely used key now here let's start the assembly of drill chuck key with part number 1 and part number 2 pilot and handle so here select assembly okay and this is the window of solid works assembly just adjust uh, i'll bring my i'll select both the part together open this is the first part and this is the second part first part always by default if you will right click and here see it's fixed if you want to float you can make it float otherwise no need let's define the mat select this hole and concentric relation okay select we want to rotate Uh, that's it select this face and this face and make here relation parallel okay that's it now drag it select this face and this face and make relation tangent here okay so okay so this is the our drill chuck key assembly ready this is the widely used tool in the world for the drill machine maybe many of you viewers use this one i hope you like this video don't forget to share and like our video and subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works i'm trying to give every day a new projects in solid works thanks for watching